That's it. Keep going. Good. Nice. You're doing great, Jessica. Doing great. <laughs> hey. Hey, Seth. You want to spend the rest of class sitting on the bench? No. Hey, keep going, Jess. You got 40 more seconds. Come on. Tough it up. You can do it. You can do it. My chest hurts. How do you think the ground feels? Hey, Seth. Two laps. Bye. Hey, no. Jess, it's just a stitch, OK? Just keep breathing. You got it. I can't. Only 10 more seconds. You got it. Jessica? Jessica? Jessica! All she does during recess is run laps around the playground. She says she's exercising, but everyone knows just because no one wants to play with her. I mean, I am only her buddy because Miss A just signed her to me. That does not mean I am her friend. I'll make sure her doctors are all clear on that. Thanks. So has she ever just said anything to you uh, about diet pills? <laughs> she told you that, too. What do you mean? I totally busted her for taking drugs one day. She totally lied, so that they were diet pills her mom had given her. Come on, Gabrielle. No way a girl like that is taking diet pills. I didn't give her diet pills. I would never do that. Right, so it was her imaginary mom. She didn't take any pills. The girl's lying. Why would she lie? Because she's another mean little jerk. Mom. I'm sorry, honey. Clemmy didn't lie. I did. I took the pills. I told her you gave them to me because I didn't want to get in trouble. Where did you get them? I took them from the store. Why? Why would you do that? Because I didn't want to be ugly anymore. Oh, baby, you're not ugly. Yes, I am. I know you don't think so, but I am. I'm disgusted. Jessica, please don't say that. I just... It in. You know, our friends, or at least have one person my age be nice to me. Oh. Listen, the uh, the pills cause blood clots, heart attacks, and insomnia. It explains everything. We'll keep her overnight to make sure, but uh, she'll be fine. Thank you. I can't believe she was that desperate. Yeah, I'm sure that if everyone I knew hated me, couldn't bear to look at me, I wouldn't go so far as to shoplift. I'm not talking about the shoplifting. I'm sure she didn't even know they were dangerous. She probably saw them advertised on TV or over the internet. Right. So I guess it's the media and pharmaceutical companies' fault now, not the fact that she can't stop shoveling food down her throat. No one forced her to get fat. No one forced a cancer patient to get cancer. Give me a break. It's not a disease. Have you seen the latest research? Yes, I have. What I haven't seen lately is a kid eating an apple or riding a bike. You Americans can't even compete with the rest of the world in basketball anymore. Unless, of course, it's the type you play with a remote control on a big screen TV. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you going to let him say that? He insulted our basketball teams. What happened? She's bleeding. From where? Oh my god. Oh, just please stop it, please. God. Oh. Diet pills don't cause skin necrosis. Could be something related to the pills? Or not. Or both. Diet pills brought her to us. We gave her the sores. You think she got a staph infection from something here? I'm not saying the hospital gave the sores. I'm saying we did by treating her. Warfarin-induced skin necrosis. Highly unlikely. We started her on heparin for the warfarin. Who gave her the heparin? I did warfarin. She did heparin. You sure you didn't both give her warfarin? Yes, I did not screw up. Did you actually see her prepare and administer the heparin? Not upset. You were standing right there. I was preparing my own dice. Yeah, right. There's got to be some other cause. None that I can think of. Let's fix the mistake. Give her unfractionated IV heparin and low molecular weight heparin by subcutaneous injection statin. Yeah. The 
there's still a chance that the heparin treatment could start to take effect. We're going to wait as long as we can. But if there's no change in the next few hours, we're going to have to treat the symptoms directly. So you can get rid of the sores? Through surgery. Technically, it's an amputation. Amputation? But the sores are... Warfarin-induced necrosis attacks fatty tissue, mainly in the breasts. Wait. Are you talking about cutting off my daughter's breasts? Old. A radical mastectomy may be her only chance for survival. I'm sorry. I have to ask you to sign this. I think we should get her into surgery. So what do you want to do? Assume that Cameron didn't screw up. What if it's not the warfarin? It has to be. The soul's presented right after we administered. Right, right, right. No, let's just say it's not. Come on, come on, what do you got? Can I have a second to think? No, there's no time to think. Just say the first thing that comes into your head. She's fat. Enough already, OK? We got it. You hate fat people. That's not what I meant. We already considered obesity as a cause. So did all our other doctors. No, I mean, what if it's not a cause? What if it's a symptom? OK, so what could cause obesity and skin necrosis? <sighs> Listen, I don't care if it makes sense. Just give me something. Ulcers secondary to vasculitis. No, that's just sores, not obesity. Pyoderma gangrenosum. More sores. OK, let's look at it from the other side. What has obesity as a symptom? Hypothyroidism. Genetics are more likely. Her mom's heavy, too. She's not just heavy. She's tall. Do you have any history on the dad? Yeah. 6'1". Six, 6'1". Six, Kids short. Got stunted growth, high blood pressure, blood clots, obesity. It's cushions. No. Necrosis doesn't present. In rare cases, cushions can cause hypercalcemia, which can lead to the same skin necrosis as warfarin. It's perfect. It explains everything. Except it's not cushions. She's had multiple blood tests, and none show abnormal cortisol levels. The hypercortisolism could be cyclical. We just didn't catch it in the right phase. We'll have to do another UFC. There's no time. We've got less than an hour to make a call. If we treat for Cushing's and we're wrong, she's dead. We assume it's not Cushing. She'll lose her breast and may still be sick. Do an MRI. You want us to look for hypercortisolism with an MRI? No, I want you to look for what could cause hypercortisolism with an MRI. Her camera went home. She's sick. Go back to the pituitary views. She seemed OK. I think she's got another reason for leaving. I hope so. Wait, stop. There. What's that? A tumor. It's Cushing's. The tumor causes Cushing's. And Cushing's messes with hormone production. Hormones control everything, growth, weight. Can you fix it? She'll need surgery to remove the tumor. Once it's gone, everything will get normal very fast. No mastectomy? No. Thank God. The surgery is dangerous. The pituitary is located between the cavernous sinuses, basically right between the eyes. The area contains the nerves that control eye movement and the major arteries that feed the brain. Oh, my God. The surgeon will approach the gland transphenoidally. An incision will be made under the lip through which he'll insert a fiber optic microscope. Once the tumor is found, he'll cut it into small pieces and remove it through the same hole under the lip. The whole procedure should take about three hours, and your daughter should be able to go home in a few days. The sores will go away, as well as her fatigue and the muscle pain. She'll even start losing weight. Jessica. Hi. Is that really you? Yep, it's me. You look fantastic. She always looked fantastic. <laughs>